Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. I wanted to share with you these little popsicle stick sleighs that I've been making. Uh, excuse the mess, because I'm just in the middle of creating and when I create, I don't know if you guys are the same, but my craft room is a disaster. <laughs> so I'm glad you're only seeing my table. All right, so here is what I created. So the first one I started with um, was this one here. So just regular popsicle sticks that I bought at Dollarama. So I got uh, these ones here and they were $1.25. And I just wanted the red and green. I did pick up some plain ones, so I may make some plain ones as well. And I may actually uh, try and use my uh, gesso on the plain ones just to make them more uh, white looking, texturized and all that. So. I'm going to give that a whirl. But anyway, I wanted to share with you. This is what I originally created. Did not like the bow, so I think I'm going to remove that. And then, as I like to show you guys how I move on and, you know, add things or improve it, or well, I think it's an improvement, I created this one. Isn't that pretty? I love that. This is actually a paper clip, or a, sorry, a clothespin. So it's really, it's different. Um, and then uh, I created another one, but just in the green color. So it has little bells on it. And then I got a little bit more uh, creative, I think. Um, I used the burlap, and it's just this bag at Dollarama. Actually, I think everything on here is Dollarama, believe it or not. So this is a Dollarama project. Well, look at that. So I used the beige burlap. Um, I use these little, I think they're called berries. Not really sure what they're called. They're just decorations anyway. Just these little pieces here. These little, I call them berry picks. Um, so I used those. Um, I used, I bought uh, the green garland uh, from Dollarama as well. And I just cut pieces off to fit my project. And then I bought these little, uh, these were not, sorry, these were not Dollarama. This was Walmart. So this is not a complete Dollarama project, but that one is. <laughs> so um, I bought these beautiful, I just love these. I guess they're poinsettias, um, but they're really red and glittered. And uh, so I add the little bells and the string on there. Um, and I just, this was the last one I made. And I thought maybe I'll share with you guys how I created it. So let's get right into it. So what you're going to need is um, four popsicle sticks for the top layer. Then you'll need two under the belly. And then you're going to need one across. And I just cut that one down. Um, but let me show you how I need one more red one. All right. So uh, let's, you'll need your hot glue gun. Oh, I don't like this one I'll probably use for the top. So what I like to do is I kind of pick the good ones for the top. And then I pick maybe the bent ones or anything to go underneath. And then you can pick whatever one you want for the top. You're going to be cutting it in half. Um, as you can tell here, you're going to cut the two middle ones a little shorter. So this is how I did it. So guys, having my new uh, pegboard uh, Lazy Susan right by my hands is perfect. All my tools are right here if I want to make jewelry or do this stuff. Now I am using my cutters and um, it's going to dull them probably, but that's okay. I got several pairs of these, but anyway, so what I'm going to do is here you can see that you need to have two shorter pieces and um, I'm also going to have to cut that top piece that lays over. So um, I like to have everything ready to go. So I'm going to cut these two pieces here for the middle because this one has a little notch out of it. So I kind of strategically pick what I'm going to do. And as you can tell, you only need like um, three quarters of an inch taken off. And I just take my cutters and I go like that. Oh, that one went flying. That's not a good thing. Um, so I do that. Then I'll just put this other one up close to it and just measure it off just so they're almost the same. They're not going to see on the top part because you're going to be covered with the decorations. Um, so if you have another way of cutting this, you know, obviously do whatever you wish, um, whatever you find easier for you. So 
what I'm going to do is just glue down the side and then I'm going to stick the other, I'm going to stick it all together. Now I do have a uh, glue, these glue sticks and I thought about trying that. So I might try it on some other ones later on, but I wanted to give these ones a try from Dollarama and they're the glittered gold sticks, uh, glue sticks, but so that's that. Okay, so um, just so you guys know, I don't know if you know this, this little um, top, you can tell everyone has this uh, piece of post board here underneath, but I bought this plastic shield. I'm not sure what the material is on it, but I bought this at Michael's. So now you can see that I made a mess on the actual card on cardboard underneath. So this is perfect when I want to create um, that I have my plastic on top because then I can just wipe it down. All right, so now when we go through you can see that these pieces here are pretty much lined up um, and you're going to want where you're not going to see the top part really you're going to want these pieces to be facing the bottom and you can keep them all the same size or whatever but i like to make it look a little bit more like a sleigh actually what i like to do let's put the on this side you're not really going to see the top so much so I don't really worry about that I mean you can make these a little bit cleaner but I'm just going to go fast through with here just to show you these would be nice to have on wreaths or anything like that um, but they're also nice little pieces you know can put on your co coffee table like more decor pieces or what have you okay so that one's done so now all I'm going to do is put the two pieces um, they're going to lay on the bottom like this however they're going to stick down a little bit because you want them to uh, the bottom piece to instead of overlap underlap <laughs> and uh, come out from underneath so you can tell that it looks more like a sleigh so what i did last time was um i just glued from here down So there we go. So now we have the base of it so far. And all I now need to do is just cut this in half. Um, unfortunately, it's going to show it a little bit broken. But what I might do is just go over and take some red paint. Um, so I just take about half so I can use the other piece on another one. Just like that. You can either make it straight or you can make it crooked. I like it a little bit crooked. Um, and a couple of these ones, uh, this one is crooked, that one was straight, and that one was straight, but it really doesn't matter, so you can kind of do it whatever way you want, so let's just put that piece on. It's kind of like how you do your layering projects, you don't always center everything and do whatever, so you know what, I'm going to give it a little crooked, just a little tilt there. Um, there you go. So, and if you want to really secure it more, you can, you know, glue some more on the bottom. And there we go. So that is that piece. Okay. So if we want to keep it almost the same, what I'm going to do is what I did, uh, with this one. I'm kind of going to try and duplicate that one. Um, but I may use this one. So this is the other poinsettia that is on this one and it was a clothes pin and I just took the one piece off and took the metal bit out and that's what I use so we'll try and see what which one we like so I picked three of these and they do have a metal bottom a metal wire there and depending on how long you want it so you can fold it whatever way you want so I just folded them for the time being and uh, I'm going to do it like this one. So what I was thinking is I could do, let's keep it with the, the brown burlap. So grab my scissors. Okay. You don't need a very big piece. 
or you don't even have to use it. You, I have red and green as well, but kind of like the rustic feel with this. Um, and all I did was just lay that like that. So we'll just give that a little glue. One moment, I'm going to find my little finger poker. Okay, got it. God, I have like two or three of these in my craft room. <laughs> I can't find any of them. All right, so we're just going to stick it right here. So all I do is just put a little bit of glue. Well, that's actually a good amount of glue. Hold it like so. And I just make sure this one is secure. It doesn't have to be, you know, squared off or triangle. Like what triangle? Whatever way, you know, you can kind of really play around with it whatever way you wish. And then what I was doing was I just laid these kind of anywhere. And you can see here, I just did the three. So you can kind of go like that. But what I did last time was I just put the glue on and then I stuck those on there. Um, but you're also gonna need some bells if you wanna add some bells. I took my ribbon that I got from Dollarama. Just cut a piece off. And I just strung it through. These were really super quick to make. I saw this on Pinterest, so I wanted to make them um, for a wreath that I would like to make. So, all right, so I just basically put them like so, and I just do it one little tie just so I keep them together, and then I keep it like that. Okay, so what we should do is maybe I'm gonna let these hang first, and what I was doing before um, on the other bells, I'm just gonna let it hang from the middle piece. All right, then again, I just put a little glob of glue, I'll Again, it's not little. I tend to really go big on the glue. So just like that. And then I'm just gonna stick, again, some more glue on there. Like that. And then I'm gonna take my little tree, my little garland piece here. Kinda like this one, it's a little big. Mm, maybe not so big. So like that, I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down, make sure my project stays. Sorry if I'm kind of out of the frame here. Then like that. And then you can still manipulate everything and I just hold it there for a little bit. There we go. And then all we have to do is we can either pick this one, which I kind of like, or we can pick this one, which I like too, but I, I think I have my string a little too long on this one. This branch isn't very big, so um, maybe I'll just move it down a little bit. Or do you guys like that one? Now nah, that kind of takes up the whole thing. So what I like to do is I don't keep these pieces on the bottom. Um, I take my wire cutters and because there's a little nub there and I just open it up like so and I just cut it off. And then I'm just going to stick that on there. And with this one, I tend to put a lot because I want the flower to stay on. And you're not gonna see the glue anyway. And then you just hold it. And with these ones, you can even put, if you have um, special wording, you know, like uh, Merry Christmas or Season's Greetings or anything, you can put who it's to, um, you know, snow, joy, any of those words, you know. This one is really bothering me. I don't like that at all. Anyway, I'll fix that later. Uh, so, that is what we just created. 
that's how super quick this is. Um, it was a lot of fun creating these. They've been sitting on my desk for a little while. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys create some of these and share with me uh, your creations. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.